zero zero, fourteen minutes into the game, you guys are going on a power play. What's the team on Hallway at that point? Yeah, um, you know, we were just we came into the game with a lot of energy, upbeat, positive. Um, and I think it's kind of motivating for our team that, you know, we're ha we're getting through the period and they didn't really have any much, many shots by that point, from what I remember from a defensive standpoint, we get that power play and, you know, that's how we got things going when we beat them back at home a couple weeks ago. You know, we got two power play goals right away. So we were excited about that. And, you know, a lot of people last weekend watching our game said, hey, if you would have got that first goal and that, that first shift, you would have won that game. And so we were kind of just, you know, really hoping to cut, you know, get that first goal and fuel that fire underneath us. That said, I mean, 2 1 after the first period, I mean, the game still feel really within reach at that point. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they scored and we answered right back. Just, it was unfortunate for us that they answered right back again. But, um, you know, a one goal deficit is. That's that's nothing, and we knew that we could score three goals against this team in one period. We've done it before, and that was our mindset going into the third period as well. You know, it doesn't matter how you know what the deficit is. We've scored this many goals. We can come back. We can do it. So, in your estimation, why did it go the other way today? I mean, I I don't know exactly how many power play goals they had, but that definitely hurt us. You know, being a man down. And they're the kind of team that, you know, they might not take many shots, but the ones they do take are pretty good shots, and they're going to go in. And, you know, if we don't stay tight on our checks in front of the net, we don't get underneath their stick, and they're right front, they're going to put it in the net, and they did. Katie, this was a team that was picked uh, eighth or ninth in the preseason in the ECAC. Um, it proved their win total by 10 games from last season. You just talk about the team in general being able to be at this point. I'm really glad you asked that. Mm. Uh, um, I mean, I'm I couldn't be more proud of this team. Um, I'm sorry if I get emotional, but my heart has been invested in this program for so long. Um, you know, we were picked to finish eighth in the ECAC this year, and at the beginning of the season, that really fueled us. You know, we knew we were better than that, and regardless of the year we had last season, that was last season, and this was a totally fresh start for us. And we weren't even supposed to make it here. And the fact that we did is just incredible, and you know, it's too bad that you don't win national championships on heart and camaraderie on your team, because this is the closest team I've ever been a part of. And, I mean, it's just, it kind of sucks ending your season 7-1. to one. And I looked at their captain when we went through the, the handshake. I said, this is the absolute worst feeling in the world. And I hope you never have to feel this. And I want them to go on and win. I want to say that I ended my season losing to the national champions. And I want them to bring back the national championship and keep it in the Ivy Leagues. And they're a very classy, hard-working, talented team, and I think they deserve it. Katie, do you think, though, uh, the, the, the returning players are going to be able to build off of this year and, and remember you know, some of the feelings that you just expressed uh, going forward to in the next season? Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the motivating factors for us as well is it was knowing that our seniors last season were ending their their careers on such a sour note, and that was something that was going through our heads. Is, you know, that's that's not going to be us. We didn't even make the playoffs last year. I mean, and having I would rather you know have to take finals on the road like we're doing right now and scrambling than having that entire month where we were sitting around doing nothing, saying I wish I was playing hockey right now. And you know, we were partially doing this season, playing this season for the seniors who graduated last year. And I think, you know, our freshmen and our sophomores hadn't gone through playoffs, let alone an NCAA tournament. So now they have that experience under their belts. They know what to expect coming in the next year, and hopefully they can use this experience, you know, 
not only as a motivating factor to want to get past the first round, but you know, knowing that they can do it and they can get to this place and just having confidence in themselves. Any other questions for Katie? Thanks, Katie. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Okay, well, we'll open that questions up for Mark. Same first question that I gave her, you know, 14 minutes in, you guys are going on the power play. Did you think your team was looking pretty good at that point? Yeah, you know, I thought, <coughs> I thought the first period we played, uh, that we played very well. Uh, you know, two goals that Cornell scored, uh, two complete mental mistakes on our part, uh, defenseman on the power play, uh, making a blind pass across. Uh, we even talked about that, not doing that because they come out hard off that face off. And then, um, you know, chasing a kid behind our net uh, in the defensive zone is just, you know, that's it's one of those um, seven deadly sins. Um, you don't do that. And it's very uncharacteristic of uh, the player that did that. So, and those are the, those are the things which, you know, a good team is going to capitalize on. And at the same time, you, know, you made those two mistakes. Okay, they scored two goals. You know, off of that, we got to go off the power play. You know, we, it's fine. Let's regroup. Let's get out there and have a good second period. I thought the second period was actually pretty decent. Um, you know, again, I think my team like Cornell, you know, they're going to score some goals. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I, I felt good going into the second period. Actually, felt all right going into the third. Although I did know we were in a big hole. You know, uh, against a team like that, that's that's it's tough to come back. And, have to score three goals. And we had to do some things a little bit differently. Um, you know, when we opened ourselves up, and you know, Cornell certainly took advantage of it. And you guys certainly generated much more offense than last week. I thought. Is that your read on the game? It just was a matter of finishing some of those. Or yeah, I mean, certainly it was a matter of finishing some of them. You know, we had a power play goal. We had another opportunity for a goal just like it. You know, we put it over the net. Yeah, that's that's uh, you know, you didn't kill off a couple of penalties, uh, especially you know, if, if the other team has a couple of opportunities, but you're still able to kill it off if either by a good, you know, good shot block or you, know, you rush somebody that they can't get the good shot off. You know, it just it builds the confidence for your team, uh, and you start to feel like you can't be beat, and everybody starts to play that way, they play bigger. And for the other team, in this case, us, you, know, you, you miss some of those opportunities. And, and those doubts start to get in there, and you start to play a little bit differently than, than you want to, and, and you get yourself in some trouble. I imagine you share the same sense of pride that uh, Katie expressed earlier. In yeah, this yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You know, our seniors, you know, starting last uh, spring, uh, we, we spent a lot of time with our seniors last spring. Um, even had some conference calls because some of them weren't in, in school during that time in our term system. Um, and you know, it really started there and, and what we wanted to accomplish this year. And <coughs> most of that stuff was stuff that you know we talked about off the ice, not so much what we wanted to do off the ice, but what we wanted to accomplish as a team. Uh, and you know, I think that, that as we uh, got better at that. As we started to really believe in that stuff, you know, I, I think you know, we got to Christmas and we were on 500 or so, and, but you could see that the team was growing, and so the second half of the season just got better and better and better. And so, yeah, I, you know, very very proud to uh, be coaching these these young women. Uh, it's a great group. Um, Coach, what you have you know, nine year <coughs> top ten returning scorers. And this year's team back next year. Um, what's it like for them to get this type of experience that say your sophomore, your freshmen and sophomores didn't get last year? They got a chance to realize how the playoffs act and things like that. What does that do for this team going forward? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that, it is a it is a big deal. Um, you know, our sophomore and our freshman class haven't been in playoffs, so you know, not quite half the team, but getting close to half the team that haven't been here before. So they're going to learn a lot uh, from that. Uh, and, you know, both the good and the bad. That's 
one of the things we talked about in the locker room after after the game. He said, you, know, you come into a game like this, um, you know, some of our younger kids were a little nervous yesterday at practice, and it didn't matter how many times I told them, hey, we're playing another ECAC team. It's not like we haven't played these guys before, but it's an NCAA game, <coughs> and it does, you know, it starts to creep in there. So I, I think they'll learn some stuff from that if we if we're fortunate enough to get back into this position again. You know, they're going to be able to take some of those lessons with them. Um, and also, you know, even from some of our from more older players, you know, this is the first time that they've been a junior or a senior um, in this type of a situation and having to learn, you know, maybe how they need to do some things a little bit different than these leaders.